would be awesome. Okay, give me one second to make that purchase then. <laughs> okay, totally fine. Thank you. Bye. So I swear I'm not doing this on purpose, but Jesus Christ. Last week I ran out of gas. This week my bike won't start. So I pulled up to the gas station here to fill up with gas and just check my air pressure on my tires, fill it up to what it needs to be, and the bike won't turn on. Like completely it won't turn on. Um, turn the ignition switch, um, start run, like it won't even show neutral or anything. So here I thought it was a battery. So I go into my toolkit and I pull out my tools and I try to open the battery and pretty much pull the cover off and the clamp off and just go to check the ignition again and no shit, it actually works. So it has to be a connection issue because it's not the battery. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. So before that whole process, I called the local Battery Plus here, ordered a new battery, so I paid $150 for a battery that I probably don't need. And now I'm gonna go to Batteries Plus and tell them if they can refund my um, account. I have no idea. I had <laughs> big plans to ride today, put on at least 500 miles, and I've been stuck at a gas station, at least it's a quick trip, for the last hour. So it's been a fun, eventful day, and it's only beginning. So. I literally almost cried in front of this girl. <laughs> oh, thank God for Battery Plus. They saved my ass today. So apparently, I'm hoping it's just the connection. I'm gonna have to replace the battery just in case, but I think it was just that. And I didn't have a tool that I could get the connection tight in order to do it and she had her tool kit that she brought with and so we're keeping the battery of where it is right now at least just tightened it enough that I could get home and yeah it was awesome I called the dealership and then was like well just give us a call back later and we'll see if we can pick it up at some point next week I'm like I'm literally stranded right now I have nobody to come pick me up because my husband is gone right now and even if somebody did come pick me up they have to have a trailer in order to do the bike which is like hit or miss i'm just trying to figure out that what okay? yeah totally good thank you have a good ride thank you so much dear you're so welcome you have a great day <laughs> that I did not plug my mic adapter in when I got on the road. So all of the content, which I literally was like pouring my heart out, crying, <laughs> was missed and it's probably for the better because nobody wants to see me doing that. But I wanted to kind of share what I was trying to say to you guys and relate to you guys is that today was Today was a hard one for me because 
it's just, we, <laughs> god dang it all. We woke up at the butt crack of dawn this morning and dropped my husband off at the airport so that he could fly out to do his army orders. And honestly, we're not entirely sure when the next time we'll all be together. Hopefully it's soon, but you never know. So for my sake, it was like a godsend that my neighbor, she actually um, reached out to me yesterday and said, hey, can um, my daughter babysit your kids if you guys wanna go for a ride and at the beginning, but then I barely made it 20 minutes, <laughs> 20 minutes out and that's what happened to me today. And so it's just come, coming to show like that this next year is not gonna be easy. And I really try to put up a good front and make sure everything is good on the home front. But at the same point of time, there's always going to be things that are thrown your way and it just makes it a little bit more emotional and stressful if you're the one <laughs> taking care of it all. So for today, I just wanted a nice ride out with myself in the roads and of course that had to happen. Something went wrong with my bike. It's literally the connection on my battery and I was stranded at a gas station for an hour and a half. So it wasn't exactly how I had planned, but looking at it from a different perspective now that I've had a couple hours to just <laughs> think about it, I understand that it's just like, I'm just gonna have to suck it up. It's going to be that way and <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it except roll with punches. And today was one of those that just showed exactly what this year is going to be like or could be like. And for me, it's relying on that community. And so today that lady from Batteries Plus was truly my godsend because if not, I would have had to pay a tow truck and um, dealership was not very helpful. And so I was just on my own, but uh, she was incredible because we kind of connected both of she's got two four kids but two of her kids are in the military as well and so we bonded over that but she didn't have to stay she didn't have to help me but she did and I actually have the free and extra battery right here on the floor too but these are the people that I'm gonna have to rely on a little bit more is that community that part that it's you can't do it. You can't do it alone. So it was a good ride in the way that it kind of just puts everything into perspective for this year. And I wanted to share these with you guys just so that you know not everything about riding bikes is butterflies and rainbows. And for me, frankly, it's never butterflies and rainbows since I'm wearing all black. <laughs> but there are some down points to riding motorcycles and you just kind of have to learn with what you've been dealt with. And it just makes you stronger as a person. It makes you stronger as a rider. And today, I guess exactly what I needed was what I was dealt with. And <laughs> unfortunately, it wasn't an awesome ride, but an awesome ride in life right now for me. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I promise I will get this bike fixed, problems dealt with, and I'll be out on the road shortly just to share some more roads with you guys because like I say in almost every single video that I have published so far is that you guys are incredible. Thank you so much for being here, for tuning in, and also if you really want to see any more of the moto vlogs that I do, which won't always be in my garage, but feel free to subscribe below and um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the road. Bye.